This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now let's say we want to automate a plugin. Not just the send level, but we actually want to change some parameter in the plugin. So let's take a look at this reverb up here. So we'll bring him up, and there's our large church that we talked about earlier. And let's say that our reverb is actually a medium plate. And at some point in the mix, we want to switch to a large plate and then back to the medium plate. So here's how we do that. We go up here to where it says auto and grab this little button. And we're changing up the parameter called size. So let's click on size and add it to the list of things that we can automate. And then say OK. And so a green line appears around the size, around every parameter of the size. And so right now, I'm not writing automation because on that plugin, I need to change this to write. And watch what happens when I switch to write. It becomes red, telling me that whatever you click here, I'm going to write. So let me start my transport and I'll click to large and then back to medium and stop my transport. I'm in latch now, and if I go to read and start my transport, it should switch to large and back to medium. So that's how to change a parameter inside of a plugin over time. Now let's go back here to this menu, because anything that's on here can be added to this list over here. And if I just keep adding things to the list, you'll see that a lot of it becomes green over here. And those are all things that can be automated now. And if I switch back to right, those are things that now become red and will actually automate when I make changes in them with the transport running. Let's take a look at one more in here. I'll close out my reverb take this guy to read, and let's look at our delay. And so, same button. If I wanted to change my tempo, my groove left, let's choose groove left and groove right, add those, and you can see now that over time, I could change that parameter by going to the fader and changing it to right, and now these become red. And those will accept my automation just like the fader moves and the pan moves. Jump to the edit window for a second, and I see that whatever's in my delay, if I look down here, I will be able to edit those parameters just like the volume and the pan and so forth. So there's my groove left and groove right. Those are the parameters that Pro Tools knows I want to automate. And I can make those changes with the pencil tool, just like I did with my volume and my pan. So lots of ability to edit those moves as well. So as I said, automation is pretty simple in Pro Tools. You just tell it what you want to write, make the move, and Pro Tools will read it back.